Okay, this is Mick's idea of packing the Kawasaki. Got a pretty nice sized case there, don't you? Yeah. I think. I forgot, I forgot one important thing. I forgot to leave room for me. Oh. <laughs> but that's okay. I got a feeling he may be staying for a long time and not going back to Australia with that size case I got there. I don't know. Well, I am playing Santa, you know. Oh, okay. He's bringing prezzies for everybody. Not everybody. Only no. Those that are good. Oh, okay. Well, that'll leave it to about two people we meet. Okay, right now we are in Remington, Indiana, on the way to Indianapolis. For anybody that doesn't know, right now that's uh, working on the bike over there. That's Mick from Bugs Platt TV. He landed in Chicago yesterday from Australia. And we're going to go down and take the grounds tour tomorrow. We got tickets for 115, I believe it is. So that's a pretty good deal. See a little bit more of uh, the Brickyard 500. And it includes uh, the museum and a tour around the track and everything. The whole shebang, in other words. Okay, let's see if I'm ready to go. Got to get my key. Yeah, I saw you wearing them. That's okay. Take your time. We're not in a hurry. Found them? I switched the Airhawk seat. He didn't want it, so I switched the Airhawk seat to my motorcycle, and it's been working out really good. It feels even more like it was made for the Triumph than for the Kawasaki, although it works out pretty good for the Kawasaki. Back a little ways, Mickey even had a chance to uh, do some leading when we went around in a little town looking for a car show, but it was not on for some reason, and uh, he took the lead. Did pretty good staying on the right, even though he's used to driving on the left side of the road. So, 95 more miles, about two more hours, and we will be there. I'll tell you the story about how he got in. Um, yeah. He landed on schedule, and I told him to come out to the front of the terminal and turn right and I would be at the top of the escalator and so uh, for some reason he decided to follow the crowd instead and go where they were going so he ended up down in the baggage area which I told him if he did end up down in the baggage area he'd be down one floor below just come up the escalator and I would be there but then uh, he decided instead to try to contact me by payphone, which payphones and cell phones just are not compatible and it, the call would not go through. And I told him if he needs to get a hold of me, just ask somebody to, if he could either use their phone or if they could just make the call to me to tell me where he is, but he didn't do that part, so he ended up giving up on me and called a Pakistani taxi cab, so he got a nice $100 ride to my house. Well, I sat at the airport for about three hours. And then I finally gave up, and as I was walking out of the airport, my wife calls and says, Oh, guess what? Mick's here already. So, uh, yeah, it worked out in the end anyway. Like Gentleman's Nine said on his one video, you know, if the, the odd things that happen kind of make the trip more interesting in the future, especially to talk to and everything. It was a bit frustrating at the time, but it is kind of a funny story. And now we're on our way down to Indianapolis. And hopefully, uh, 
I'll get a chance to take uh, lots of video and lots of pictures when we get there.